I developed interest very early, uh, you know, during my days in Amitage uh, High School, like in the early 80s. Uh, because then we had a very good library, and there used to be all these magazines, you know, West Africa, Newsweek, you know, Time. Okay. And, and, and I, you know, got introduced to those, uh, you know, very, very reputable journals at a very, very early age. Maybe I was age 11, 12. Then we had this principal, I mean, also, I mean, Mr. Sani. In fact, he was a history teacher. Yeah. He introduced me, you know, at a very early age to some aspects of Gambian history. You see. And now, after that, we I went to Sierra Leone to follow up a college. Um, I was like in the early 90s, 93, 94, you know, to pursue a degree in history. And, you know, for me, it's a very, very old institution, founded 1827. You can imagine their library. Almost every book in that library has, you know, like a history to tell. Resources is required. Yeah, for example, you know to digitize them, you know, into a database. Yeah, because as they are stored, you know, rats, you know, you know, climatic problems, you know, cockroaches, theft happens. So resources is needed to digitize them for posterity. To capacity, we need archivist, you know, professional archivist. We need museologist, those who are trained in museum conservation. A, a exhibition design, a, a museum education, so that when school children come to our museums, they can enjoy it. You know, photographers, you see, you see, that's like, a, a, you know, I mean, we need archaeologists, for example. 90% of our history is still in the ground, a, a buried, a, a, because there's no Gambian archaeologist. So in that area, we need that capacity to have archaeologists. Everybody tell you science, 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 science. Uh, you know, maths, maths, maths. Yeah, uh, of course those are important. Yeah, but we should encourage the study of our history. Gambian history is still there uh, to be researched and written about. Every day we are ashamed. Every day we are embarrassed. Sometimes even humiliated. Simple aspects of our history has been lost to us. And this commission is a good example. A date. Something happened in 1994, 95. People are even having problems remembering. It's all because of the lack of historical knowledge. Whenever our political leaders had a major obstacle, that obstacle was conquered after they had come together. Like I said, independence. It came because later PPP was even working with the Congress Party, which was heavily based in battles. Nobody thought it was possible. Now in 2016, the same thing happened. When Jami became a problem, the political leaders decided to I form an alliance, and that's what remove him. You could see that working together and consensus has always brought about a win situation for this country.